here I'm going to show you guys a technique that I've often used um, in Final Cut 5, 6, and 7 back in the day, but I've had a harder time figuring out how to do efficiently in Adobe Premiere Pro. So I have to use my timelines as a way of organizing my footage. So I just create a lot of different timelines and just dump all the footage in there. And then I just quickly can scrub through the whole timeline back and forth and see everything that I have. And then I just raise up my good clips where I make, you know, I make cuts and then raise up the good footage. But the problem is um, in Premiere Pro, I couldn't find an easy way when I click and drag the clip up for the audio to follow it. In Final Cut 7, the audio would just automatically drop down to track 2 or track 3. Wherever I drug the video clip up, the audio track would follow. But that does not, that's not the behavior of Premiere Pro. So then it becomes kind of problematic when you're scrubbing um, through your footage or you're clicking and moving a clip in time because then the content on audio track 1 of the clip will overwrite whatever content I drag it over. And I don't want that. I want it to be down here so that when I click and drag it over, I now still have the full information of the clip that's underneath the one on top. So, you know, not a big issue, but the only way to, to do it in Premiere Pro that I thought was just to click and drag, click and drag, and there you go. But that takes, you know, two clicks, where in Final Cut 7 it was just one click. Well, I am pleased to say that when I, when I asked about this issue on, on the Adobe Premiere Pro Facebook group, they showed me how to do it. And... This, I'm going to show you guys how to do it now. So really, it's super simple. Click and drag, and then once before you let go, and you've you've got your clip that you've dragged up to video track two, hold the shift key. Nothing happens, but now drag your mouse down, and the audio will follow. Let go, and there you go. So pretty fast. Click and drag, drag, bang, you're good to go. So it's little. A little slower than Final Cut 7 was, but it's definitely a lot faster than clicking twice and should help me and maybe those of you that also use this way of organizing footage to be a little bit more efficient in uh, raising up your good takes.